Good morning, folks. Kathy here with Living Miracle Homestead, and I have been getting some stuff done this morning. Um, I got most of the, still got to clean this out, but I got most of this bed cleaned out, and I'm going to plant it out, uh, I don't know when, either... It might be today, but I doubt it because I've got a bigger chore to get done. But I've got to break this out and get the little loose ends. This Check is it out. the uh, third bed, raised bed I have up front that I'm going to um, be planting out. I, as you know, I planted those over there out. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with that. I, I really want to clean all that out get the dirt out of it take that in the back somewhere but we shall see um let's see so make a long story short i i really thought about turning it like those are and putting it right next to it but i've got that tree there mm. and I'm just going to have to either rent a stump grinder or, or something, but I need a walkway to get through there. Because what I want to do is I want to put my trash cans and stuff right there and um, cut this. I, I, I've, I've, I butchered my, uh, my um, rose plant. I always do. And it's out there on the pile. So... Anyways, that bed has definitely got to be moved, whether it be moved this way or in back, I don't know. But I really like it, the sound of it being this way, but I've got to get rid of that um, tree stump. I could dig that out or flush it out with the water, which I may flush it out with the water and uh, get it out of there because I want it totally out <clears throat> so that I can put that there. And so, that being said, I will have a walkway, you know, I can move these guys. These are my potatoes I planted. I'll have a walkway between these and I'll have just the three of them in a row. And I'll be able to get to the back side. i got to clean all that up on the back side of them too. Um, they'll get the great uh, east sun in the morning. And, yeah, I think it'll work good if I can get that bed moved this way and that stump out, but that's going to be some work. So, now, I can use a, a, water, a water hose from the Reclaim Water and jet that out, um, that stump out, so that I can cut deeper down into it. David won't use his chainsaw if it's near dirt, so, no, I don't blame him. Anyways, uh, let's see what else. I am moving these guys over to back there. So, first, before anything, so I don't kill myself. I really don't think you guys know how deep that is. I mean, it's deep. Um, when I step down in that hole down there, it's, my knee is up to where the top is there. <laughs> so I've got to, I've got to break that back down in there and hopefully the dogs won't dig it again and possibly put some uh, stuff down to keep him from doing that, but we'll see. Got a lot to do, so I better get at it. This is one of the reasons why I <clears throat> let some weeds grow. Those Biden weed, these beautiful rabbits absolutely love. I just pitch it in there, right, even right on top of them. They just sit neat, 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 and enjoy every bit of it. Oh. So we shall see if they get those finished tonight. They usually do. It's usually gone in the morning. Well, 
It's break time. I gotta go sit for a while. I got this much done so far. The rabbi's got all the, most of the weeds. Uh, some of them I tossed. Whew. But I'm gonna move this kayak back to the back. Uh, maybe not today, but because I just don't have enough strength. And uh, I need to put it back in the back where David's is at. And then um, take these boards over to the where the coop's going. These four by fours were supposed to be fence posts. And some of them may still be fence posts because I need, I need, uh, I don't know how, how, how tall I need to make that coop over there, but, uh, I gotta work on that and get this side cleaned out too. But yeah, it's coming along. I feel so good. Sweating all them impurities out of my body. Because I'm telling you, it's, uh, it, it's, it's getting hot today. Let me see what the temperature is. Okay, right now it's 80. And it's four four the little forecasted to be 89 today. Yeah. It's supposed to be spring, winter, you know? Winter, spring time. Yeah. It's, it's already summer here. And... If anybody knows how to fix clay pots that have been broken, please let me know because I've got three of them, I think, that are broken that I want to fix. Maybe four, not sure. Anyways, I'm gonna go over here and sit down and drink me some water and enjoy doing my pretty flowers. Gotta clean out the seat first. <sighs> Break time's always good. Yeah, so I'm excited. Hopefully I'll be able to look around and I won't see a bunch of junk lying around. <laughs> we shall see. I've got tons of work to do though. And I have to let go of junk. Let go of junk, Kathy. Just let it go. Because I can't do nothing with it anyways. I just keep... Keep going, keep on until it, till it just rusts so badly you can't do anything with it, right? Ugh. I'm telling you, it is, it is hot, hot, hot. At least I've got some breeze going. I don't know if you can hear that. See that? <laughs> I got the breeze kicking for me. That's good. Check it out. That's a good breeze now. And I love being able to sit and watch my bananas grow and stuff like that. I know it sounds weird, but... If you're a gardener or if you're a, a, a animal lover and plant lover, flower lover, whatever... You can enjoy just sitting and watching the breeze blow the leaves. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to sit here and take my break and get back to my work. And I'll see you next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.